Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Williamsburg, Virginia for tonight's what Women's Alliance Football D3 playoffs matchup between the visiting Capital City Savages from Lansing, Michigan, and your Virginia Lady Firehawks from the 757. The Generals come the gen oh yeah, that's right. The Generals come in tonight's game with a record of four and two, and the Firehawks come in tonight's game of five and one. Alrighty. Your Lady Firehugs line up to punt. It'll be a short punt. It'll take a few bounces. And it'll be down at the 46 yard line. be first and 10 ball on the 46 yard line capital savage is coming out in the shotgun formation it looks like oh, no, in the I formation quarterback number five Kayla Wilson will toss it it'll be fumbled and it'll be recovered by your Virginia Lady Firehawks This is a defense that's been doing this all year long. They're led by Mr. Jeffrey Seffer. ball. First and 10 at the 35 yard line. It looks like the Capital City Savages are going to come out in a 4-2 I believe. It looks like the type of defense. You have two deep safeties. Quarterback Kenya Wilkinson has been doing this all year. Just when the defense thinks, oh, we have them. No, you don't. She can run too. Firehawks ball at the 28-yard line, second and four. Kenya Wilkinson will hand it off. She'll be brought down of, of a tough gain of about four. It's going to be third and two. Ball at the 22 yard line. Mm -hmm. 
quarterback Kenya Wilkerson comes out in the I formation. It'll be a it'll be a QB boot, and she'll be shoved out of bounds, right outside the twenty yard line. I'm there's one. That'll be a that'll be enough of the first down. Ball at the twenty three yard line or the twenty. About, yeah, the 23 yard line. While we have a chance, I would like to thank our football equipment, as provided by X Zenith, the industry leader in football helmet technology. Zenith football helmets are worn by hundreds of thousands of youth, varsity, D1, and professional athletes all around the world. Live your game. This is what we live for because this is what you live for. Hit it off. Fantasia Smith will run, and she will be shoved out of bounds after a great gain of about 11 to 12 yards. Ball on the four-yard line. Firehawks have a lot of weapons they can deal with down here in the red zone. This high flying, tough running offense is ran by none other than Coach Michael Smith. From here of the 757. It'll be a QB sneak. She'll fight for a tough yard. Will there be a flag on the play? False start on the offense. It'll be a five yard penalty. While we all, while we have a little break, we'd like to say thank you to James County for allowing us to use this field and all the supporters and and on the live stream for following us on our technology journey. We have timeout taken by the Lady Firehawks. Yeah. Isn't that something? Uh, for the Firehawks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coming out of the timeout. Looks like we're going to be in the I formation. Quarterback Kenya Wilkerson be under center. 
handoff to number 11, Fantasia Smith. And she'll get about five, maybe four yards on the play. So it'll like it to be second and six at the six yard line. Kenya Wilkinson to drop back to pass. Up and it's just short. Just missed her. Intended receiver number 33, Cabby. Kenya Wilkinson to drop back to pass again. She's looking. She looks at the back of the end zone, and it'll be over the head. So that'll bring up fourth down. All right, it looks like offensive coordinator Mike Smith is going to leave the offense out there and go for it on fourth down. Just six to go. Kenya Wilkinson to drive back to pass. And she'll try. She, she'll, it's a live ball, and it'll be downed at the about the six-yard line. Up oh, and we have and well that would bring us to the end of the first quarter. We have an injured Capital City Savage on the play. Can't see what number that is at the moment. Why do you attend to her? Our live stream is sponsored by Ready to Stream. Ready to Stream is a media company located within the DMV region, providing services for sports, conference, and training events. For more information, go to their website at www.readytostream.net or call at Number 62 to Rhonda Brown. 
She's up walking off under her own power. Coming off of that injury, once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'd love to welcome you to Williamsburg, Virginia for tonight's Women Alliance Football D3 Playoffs matchup between the visiting Capital City Savages and your Virginia Lady Firehawks. Coming within the start of the first quarter, I mean within the second quarter, I'm sorry. It's score still 0-0. Be first and ten at about the six yard line. Mm. What a defensive stuff. Number eighty two, big baby. There'll be a loss of about two, maybe three on the play. That'll bring up second down. Be another handoff up the middle. She'll hop to the outside. And she'll get about maybe six or seven on the play. I'll bring up third down. Maybe th about third, third and five. She'll break one tackle, she'll break another. She'll be brought down after about a gain of about 15. There is a flag on the play. I believe the ref is signaling it. It'll be a face mask against the. Yes, it'll be a face mask against your Lady Firehawks. That attack on 15 after the run. Ball will be at the 44-yard line. Savages will come out in the shotgun formation. Another inside handoff. And it'll be a stuff by your Lady Firehawks defense. Number 18, CW on the play, All-American. A flag on the play. That was a false start against the, the offense. Had to take him back about five yards, I believe. Ball on the 35-yard line now. Maybe second and 20. Ball on the 35. Kind of 
Capital Savages will come out in the shotgun formation. Be a pass. 13, Danielle Gordon here. On a receiving end of that pass. Should be brought down of a, of a, of a, of a gain of about eight. Be second and be third and about 13, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm sorry, third and 14. Ball on the 42. Third and 14, Capital City. Comes out in the shotgun formation. Number five, Kayla Willer, Wilson. She'll pass it. And it'll be just short of her receiver. She had a defensive fit hand in her face. Better bring up fourth down, fourth and 14. Line up in the punt formation, and maybe a flag on the play. Time out by the Lady Firehawks. Ref, can I get the flag? Can I get the penalty? I believe it's a legal substitution against the offense. Interesting. Timeout, Lady Firehawks. So it definitely seems like it's a very defensive battle by both teams. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. What do you think that the Lady Firehawks need to do offensively to kind of, kind of get things back in their favor? I believe their offensive line could – do a, a tad bit better at blocking, you know, blocking downhill instead of just giving up that block, that first block. I believe that the uh, the Capital City Savages, their 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 linebackers are getting back there at a pretty fast pace. So you know you need to clean that up. I will say though, if you are defensive minded, this is a really good game. Oh yes, yes it is, yes it is. And like I said, Coach uh, Coach Coach Jeffrey Safford. He's, he's probably the best coordinator in this conference, I believe so. You know, I haven't seen any other defense shut down teams the way the Lady Firehawks have. Coming out of the timeout, the Capital City. Be a short kick, it'll take a bounce back. And it'll be down at about the 44 yard line. No, I'm sorry, about the 43 yard line. First down. Another thing offensively, Kenya Wilkerson has an arm. She can throw. Yes. Yes, she can. We definitely seen her do that against several opponents. Like, uh, Richmond Black Widows. Pretty sure like she had two touchdowns in that game. Yes, sir. Mistaken. Yes, sir. That'll be first and ten at the forty-four yard line. Kenya Wilkerson. Come out in the shotgun formation. And just when I see, and it'll be just short. It'll hit the ground and bring up second down. Kenya 
Wilkinson. It'll be a punt fake. It'll be just short. Number two, Trenisha Hamlin, the receiving end of that. The intended receiver, I'm sorry. Gotta bring up third and ten. Firehawks will come out in the shotgun formation. It'll be three rides to your right. It'll be a dump off to the running back, number 11. And so you get a gain of about two. One, I'm sorry. to bring up fourth down. I say this has been a real defensive battle. Yes, that's what I was saying. Like, both of these teams very defensively minded. Someone's got to blame first. I don't know who it's going to be. It can go either way. At this point, I, I've, I've rarely seen any anybody hold the Firehawks to this type of composure. Hey, the Savages from Lansing, Michigan, man, that's a good team, man. It'll be a fake. She'll try to catch an edge. It should be just short, about four yards short of the line of game. It'll be a turnover on downs. The ball on the 50-yard line. So it seems, yeah, right on the... Yeah, right on the 50 yard line. Hey, First and 10, Capital Savages ball. Kate Wilson will be in the shotgun formation. Be a quick quarterback read. She'll be brought down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that play. I bring up second down. Five minutes and 30 seconds left in the first half. Scoreless. Still scoreless, man. She'll be brought down of a tough gain of about seven on the play. That'll bring up third down. Definitely look like a third and short situation. Don't be surprised. Get right back to it. It'll be about third and three. Capital City got some different options. Yes, they, they do. They can just run it down the middle or try to go off either the left side or the right side. Might even do a little passing play. Who knows? They got options. Let's see. I'm going to call number five quarterback, Kayla Wilson. Coming to shotgun formation. Two running backs back there. One wide to the left. It'll be another handoff right up the middle. And by the spot of the ball, it could be fourth down. It's close. It's real close. They're going, to, they're going to have to get the chain unit. Ref? Like, yeah, they're going to need to get the chains. They're going to measure this. Looks like they're going to give them the first down. Oh, okay. And it'll be a first down. All righty then. Ball at the 40-yard line. I need that ball 
just under four minutes left to go in the half. Savages will come out, two running backs in the backfield. It'll be a motion off the left side. It'll be a jet sweep. As he'll try to catch him outside with the defense right there to contain her. Bring up second down with a loss of about four. Second and 14. Ball at the 44-yard line. Side handoff, right off the tackle. He brought it down. Uh, Gained of about four, yep, three. Looks like number four from the way to five on this turn. This will be number four, Kayla Downing. She goes back K2. She's able to get up and walk off on her own power. Thank goodness. Be third and about five. I'm sorry, third and about seven. The ref backed it up. Yeah, it looks like it. Two seventeen left in the first half. Really close to the two minute line. With the ball on about the thirty. Seven yard mark. It'd be a play action pass. It'd be caught a slant. Should be caught down. Number 82. Big Baby is what she goes by. All right, two minute warning. It'll be the two minute warning. Oh, nope. it be a timeout. Okay. Your capital C Savages. All right, time out, Capital City. That was number one, Jessica Weeks, on the receiving end of that pass. It was enough for a first down while we step away for this timeout. We would like to thank. We would like to say thank you to Giannimo. Is that how you pronounce that? Management for all their support. They have supported through. They have provided for us throughout the season. They are the proud owners of McDonald's located here in Newport News in Hampton, Virginia. I'm loving it. I look like one four five. Never mind. All right. Cool. One four five left in the second quarter. Coming out of that timeout by your Capital City Savages. Ball on the twenty five yard line. Two running backs. Shotgun for a mission to be an inside handoff to number ten. Brittany Adams should be brought down at a gain of about four. Maybe second down. Second and six. Ball at about the 22 yard line. They're definitely looking to score. Yes, the Capital, Capital City Savages, they're looking to punch it in. They're trying to, to draw blood first. We'll see if this defense can hold. They've been doing that well all season. There's a flag on the play. She'll try to catch an outside, but she's contained. Black jerseys every. Coming out of 
of that timeout. Seems as if the Savages will come out in the I formation. We have a quick handoff to number three. Elizabeth Speaks. She'll be brought down about the five yard line. 26 seconds left. 26 seconds left. It'll be a timeout. Capital City Savages. It seems that they're really trying to punch it in the score. They really are, man. They really are. Well, this season. Can they turn it around in the second half? Our apologies for the technical difficulty. Uh, currently has some Wi-Fi issues. Williamsburg area. There is no forecast for rain, thank goodness. We should, I think we're able to fix it. We didn't really miss too much. Capital City Savages is make, making their way down towards the end zone. While the Lady Firehawks are trying to stop them. Exactly 26 seconds left in the first half. Right, Capital City Savages hand it off. There'll be a flag on the play. Alright, so the signaling it has a touchdown. But like our main commentator just said himself, it is a flag on the play. Flag against the Capital City Savages, so that touchdown will be wiped off the board. Exactly 14 seconds left in the first half. 14 seconds left to go in the half. Still scoreless, y'all. Still scoreless. Be a false start against your the Capital City Savages. That'll back them up another five yards. They're hurting their chances of scoring within this 11 seconds of the first half. Seems that they're sending the field goal unit out. Just gotta get some points on the board, man. Oh, oh it'll be a fake. Uh oh. And should I try to catch? Nope. 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 And that'll be no good. And that will bring you until the end of the first quarter. Unbelievable, man. After two quarters. After two quarters. Savages, zero. Firehawks, zero. zero. I'm not sure. Actually, did they score that? Did they count that touchdown? No. Hold on. Give me one. Actually, the ref. I think the ref is signaling. There's still time. There's still time left on the clock. See, you know what? What's wrong? Let's turn the camera real quick. Let's see what's going on. 14, 14 seconds. Still 14 seconds. 
I mean, would you like to come up here and do this? Hey, man, listen. You know, we're, yeah, we're not, we're not on that. I know. Well, you're doing, like, three things all at the same time. Man. So, apparently, they did score the touchdown. There was, like, a lot of commotion on that play. Yeah, so I apologize for that. So, so the Savages actually did score. They actually did score in that touchdown. I apologize. Like I said, a lot of things is just happening all at once. Yeah. On top of that, we do have some new refs here this evening. Never really worked with these refs before. Yeah, me neither, man. So it seems as that the penalty that was against the Savages will be counted against them on the kickoff. Yeah. So I believe the original kickoff line is 35. They moved it up to 45. Fantasia Smith. And it'll be a flag on the play. It'll be an unnecessary roughness call. It should be. Definitely some extra critical activities in that one. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness against the defense. You just told me to run the clock. Even the coach heard. seconds up to go. Lady Firehawks have time for one play. One second left on the clock. I'm not called by the lady, by the lady Firehawks. Fire One second left on the clock.
One second on the clock. Shotgun formation. Shit. Had to take us to the end of the half. Here, Virginia Lady Firehawks, zero, and the Capital City Savages, six. I got you. All righty, should be getting back momentarily. Welcome back to this Women Alliance D3 Playoffs. Win or go home. Capital City Savages coming back from the half at 6 0. With your Lady Firehawks set to receive a second half kickoff. A little bit of rain started to come down during the halftime, but I believe it is passed over. The Lady Firehawks will need to shut down the run in this second half in order to prevail. Coach Saffron has done a, an amazing job at shutting down defense. I mean, I'm sorry, offense is in the second half. He can pull it off again today. Firehawks will come out in the shotgun formation. Doubles to the left and to the right. Kenya Wilkinson will drop back to pass. It'll be intercepted by number 24. Haley Zaworski. And it'll be brought back. It'll be brought back to about the 40, 44 yard line. I, no, I'm sorry, 42, 42 yard line. First and down, first and 10, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the first turnover of the day by either team. By either team, actually. That's actually the first turnover, the first interception thrown by Kenya Wilkinson in the last three weeks, I believe so. She's gone with a ratio of about five to zero the last couple of weeks. It's a jet sweep. It should be brought down by number 18, Kaylee Wilson. That'll bring up second down. 
be a loss of about six, seven, I'm sorry. Ball's on the 44 yard line. Second and 16 at the 44 yard line. We have another motion. It'll be a reverse. It'll be a fake. And it'll be picked off by number two, Tranisha Hamlin. They call her Treyway. And apparently there's a flag on the field. It'll be a flag on the play. Savages will say that's against the Firehawks. Personal foul, roughing the passer against the defense. That's a result. An interception is null no avoid. So that'll be a uh, be a 15-yard penalty. Ball on the 30-yard line. First and ten. Savages to come out in the shotgun formation. Inside handoff. Later be stuffed and the backfield. Number 56, Barrett Luis. I said this defense had to turn up the intensity for the momentum to swing their way, and they're doing just that on this opening draft for the Capital City Savages of the second half. They're going to have to, man, because, again, even though it's only a one-possession game, first downs has been a premium as of late. So pretty much the first team that makes the most mistake will lose this game. Looks like another inside handoff. And it'll be stuffed by that Lady Firehawks defense yet again. Number 35, Lakrita Carmine was in there on that play. Uh, seven, sorry, 11.52 left in the third quarter. Fourth down. Four for three. Ball, ball, ball on the 32. See the Capital Savages trying to draw the Lady Firehawks off sides. The emotion inside handoff, and she'll have enough for the first down. She'll get a surge from her offensive line. I'm serious, man. Like that middle just opened wide up. They've been weak there the whole game. 
They've been weak there the whole game. Like I said, they need to intensify this defensive stage for the momentum to swing their way. Without question, man. Without question. Momentum can be your best friend. But as soon as she switch sides, it's over with. Savages have come out. Two to the right, two to the left. Shotgun formation. She'll drop back to pass. Oh. And she'll be set. Number 23, knowledge. And on that play. Loss of about five on that play. Ball on the 32-yard line. Under 10 minutes left in the third quarter. Only a delayed run. Number 23, Knowledge, and on that play as well. She's turning up the intensity to try to get momentum to swing their way. Capital, Capital City was not ready for that one. It was not. Knowledge, she saw that play all the way. Under 9.20 left in the third quarter. Capital City Savages will come out in the shotgun formation. Drop back. And it'll be incomplete. Weeks, the intended receiver on that play. And that's going to be fourth down. Number one, Beasley was all in her face. It'll be fourth down, fourth and 15. Filled it. Should catch a block or two. Should be brought down at about the 25 yard line. The first, first and ten. Firehawks ball. Yard line. Lady Firehawks will come out. Kenya Wilkinson seemed to be shaken up at the end of the half, but she seems fine coming out. We have. She'll be in the shotgun formation with three receivers to your left. Inside handoff. She'll hit the outside. She'll catch a block. She'll break a tackle. Number 11 for Tasia Smith. Second and nine. Second and eight, I'm sorry. Ball at the 27. Under 7.30 left in the third quarter. Lady Firehawks need to get a first down in the worst way possible. This drive can determine the game. Oh, without question. Without question. 
It's a fumble snap. Kenya Wilkerson will get try to cut to the outside. He should be brought down. Loss of about 15 on that play. Third and about 20. Oh boy. Definitely not the ideal situation, man. Definitely not the ideal situation. Ball on the 15 yard line. And it'd be intercepted by number one, Jessica Weeks. Dang. That is a sec that is her second the interception. Second interception of the night. Yeesh. Hey, what you just tell me like she haven't thrown an interception in like three thrown weeks? An interception in three weeks oh, coming into this game, and she's thrown two in this second half alone. I would like to remind everybody here at Cooley Field that there is no smoking and no drinking. There is a no smoking and no drinking policy. Thank you very much. Run up to the inside. Should be brought down of a hard fought two yards. Second and ten. Second and eight. I'm sorry. Ball on about the 23 yard line. Side handoff. It should be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Third and eight. This defense needs to get a stop, and the offense needs to put together a drive. Those are the two main folks right now that the Firehawks need to, to, to win this game. They need to put together a defensive sequence to stop this offense and put together an offensive drive to where it can put you in the driver's seat. This is a win or go home matchup. Next oh, yeah. week, there won't be. Uh, it won't be a next week if you don't win today. Exactly. Looks like the capital city is going to come out in the pistol formation with a play-action pass. And that'll be just over the head of Jessica Weeks, the intended receiver on that play. Let's see if they're going to put in the field goal unit. Fourth down. Right now, it is only a, yep. Right now, it's only a one possession game. One possession game. All right, so so it seems like they're going for it. The Firehawks had it in the red zone at the beginning of the game, failed to score. Like I said. Defensive stop, offensive sequence. Two main focus: offensive stop. I mean, a defensive stop and an offensive sequence. Drop back to pass. Number one, Jessica Wheeler oh. is the intended receiver. Almost, there is a flag on the play. There is a flag on the play. There is a flag on pass the play. It'll be a pass interference against who? To me, that did not look like an, a defensive pass interference. It did not. But did she turn around in time? That did, that did not look like a defense. All right, so exactly. All right. 
It'll be a pass interference against the defense. How I'm not sure because that that wow okay hmm. interesting that that that's a head scratcher that that's that's definitely a head scratcher that, because she was in front of the receiver. That's that's interesting. I don't I don't know how we could. I don't, I'm not. I don't know. That's, I don't. I don't know about that one. That's that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's interesting. I don't know about that one. But what it does, it keeps the drive alive for yes, the savages. Yes, it, it definitely does. It keeps the drive alive. Now they have a fresh set of downs, first and ten, down here in the red zone, fifteen yard line. Even if this become a two possession game, there's still plenty of time. Still plenty of time. For the Lady Hawks, but they need to score on their next possession. Yes. It'll be a fumble recovered by the Savages. City, another hand up up the middle. She'll break one tackle. So right down at the hard fought four yards to gain. I believe that was about four yards. Two oh seven left in the third quarter. The score is still six to zero in favor of the Savages. From Lansing, Michigan. From Lansing, Michigan. That is a drive, man. That is a drive. I've been around. I, I flew from uh, DC to uh, Detroit several times and made that one and a half drive to uh, the Lansing, Michigan area. And that's a drive. Man. It'll be a pass out to the flat. She'll miss one receiver. One, I'm sorry, one tackler. She'll be brought down after about a six yard gain. Under 130 left in the third quarter. This is fourth down. Most likely, Savages are going for it. Ball on the four yard line. I'm sorry, the six yard line. I'm sorry. Question is, they're going for a field goal or it's just, all right? Okay, you know what? It seems as that their quarterback is on the field. All right. They're gonna go for it. See if they're gonna try to draw them off sides. Either draw them off sides or, or or they really have a trick up their sleeve to score. To really take control of this game. It'll be a pass. And it's over her head, it's incomplete. Okay. Their defense shuts down. Then but don't break. They got to the red zone, but they did not score. Alright, now, now can the Firehawks put together an offensive sequence? to take control of this game. All right, this is going to be really interesting, man. 46 seconds left in the third quarter. They're really tough. They're pretty much in the end zone. Um, they don't really have a lot of room to work with, so whatever it is that they're going to do in these first two possessions, they got to get out of the end zone to give themselves an opportunity to get downhill. Got to get that first down. Got to get that first down. Yeah, first down is going to be big because they go three and out. They're pretty much going to give a short field to the Savages, and that will probably give them a good opportunity to try to score their next possession. 
They don't have to go for the home run, but they definitely got to get out of the end zone. Yes. Don't put the ball in harm's way. Outside handoff. The outside. Gained up about five on the play. All right, that helps out a little bit. Like I said before, they don't have to go for the home run, but they definitely got to continue to get out of the end zone area. Whatever it is that they're doing, they got to be quick with it and decisive. Oh, hell yes. Oh, man. That would have been huge. That would have been very huge. Number 33. Cabral Duran is the intended receiver on that play. To bring up third down. Look like they try to go for a home run hit right there. Came up just a little bit short. Just just a little bit short. And the ball is on the 14 or 13 yard line. 22 seconds left to go in this fourth quarter. So drop back to pass again. Wait a minute. Oh. oh, and number one came down a little weird. Yeah, Jessica Weeks, she's been a defensive factor in this game. With uh, I believe she has the two interceptions. Yeah, I feel like she was definitely trying to go for that one as well. Okay, well, with that being said. Looks like Larry Farhart tried to go for two home run hits, came a little bit short. Will be fourth down. Do not be surprised to go for a punt. Do not have to rely on the defense to give them yet another stop. We would like to congratulate our very own dynamic defensive duo, number 18, Kayla Wilson, and number 23, Natasha Butts, for your second team All-American selections. As first year WFA players, they will be representing the Lady Firehawks at the WFA Zenith All American game in Canton, Ohio, July 10th. Let's go, Hawks! Absolutely incredible. Absolutely, yeah. Like I said, they've put on a defensive clinic this, this full season. Yeah. And to see them not clicking today is really weird. You yeah. Know? Just, just a tad bit, man. But listen, this is a first-year team that hosts in their first playoff game in the seven-five-seven. Yes, sir. Definitely not an easy thing to do, but it is a great accomplishment, nevertheless. With that being said, the Capital City Savages don't care none about that. Yes, sir. They're they're coming in here with one goal. Yeah. Survive and advance, man. Leave Williamsburg with the W. Yes, sir. Yeah, survive in advance. So far, I believe that ride back to Michigan wouldn't be as long if they if they if they leave with the W. I don't think so either, man. Uh, it took a friendly bounce. Friendly bounce. That'll take you to the. End of the third quarter. Oof. Ooh, that's some. Uh, and at the end of the third quarter. Oof. The Savages, six. Your Lady Firehawks, zero. Oof, some strong languages right there towards the end. My goodness. I apologies for that. Like I said, normally the PA microphone will be working. However, it's not. So if you're watching this game, on the field, 
can't hear anything. For those of you who are watching at home, we want to say thank you for tuning in. Yes, sir. It's an honor to share the booth with you, Rashid. Oh, yeah. No, no problem, man. Not a problem. Glad to be here, man. Man, it really just felt like yesterday, man, on, um, shoot, today's the 11, right? Yes, sir. Man, felt like yesterday, man, on June the 12th, man, when, um, Willingburg Colonials was playing against the Colonial Red Devils about a year ago, man. Yep. Here in this very stadium. In this very same stadium. That being said. Speaking of which, they did win their very first playoff game last week against the Columbia County uh, Wranglers, 30-0. to zero. They'll be, They have advanced to play the uh, Carolina Pan uh, Bears tonight. Yeah, yeah. And uh, speaking of, I'd like to check on that. And I think, if I, if I remember correctly, I think – they they're either playing right now or they're finished, because I heard that the game started at two, but I'm not a hundred percent for sure. Well, actually, I just got an update. The Bears are the the Bears are the winners of that game. Actually, wow. Okay. All righty. Well, there's your breaking news right there, there's ladies and gentlemen. News and the Colonial season is over with. They will be back in the fall of 2022. They gave up three touchdowns in the fourth quarter from what I'm seeing. Oof. Yikes. Yeah, that's a big yikes right there, man. With that being said, your Carolina Bears will be heading towards the championship game. In Durham, North Carolina. In Durham, North Carolina, man. Those of you who are familiar with the area, that's where the Dukes Blue Devils are at, which I am not a fan of. Mm -hmm. Tar Heel God myself. But that's for another day, for another story. Coming back live to this game, there's a handoff to the right side. That was a pretty good run right there by number three. About seven yards. And we have an injured Firehawk on the play. Uh-oh. Number 24, Gwen Herring, able to walk off, run off under her own power. Thank goodness. A lot of injuries by both teams in this game. It's about six yards to go. Ball on the 43-44 yard line. Yep. I will say, though, it is kind of humid today, so that could play a factor. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, yeah. Cramps can be a factor here. Oh, yeah. We're not too far away from Jamestown, Virginia. One of the first colonies in America. Very swampy, so this area could get kind of humid and kind of murky quick and fast and in a hurry. Especially when it starts raining like this. Yes, sir. Number five, Kayla Wilson hands it off. Immediately stop. And, okay, 82. A little, little slow to little get up. A little slow to get up. Just she's a, up. Yeah, she's up. She's going to walk it off. Defense, man. Been working overtime, man. Been working overtime. And I'm, I'm telling you now, now they have a chance to take control of this game with this uh, with this defensive drive right here. They can. If you can get a stop on this at the, on, with this defensive drive, you have a full chance to take this game under control. There's still plenty of time. Like I said before, all the all the Lady Firehawks have to do is just score and then just convert on an extra point, either a one point or a two point, and they will have the lead. It'll be a toss to the outside. Uh oh. And she'll uh oh. And she'll she stepped out of bounds at about the twenty six yard line. Wow. First down, that was a gain of about 20 yards. Wow. I will say, though, 
I will say though that that's a break. That's for, that was a break for the Firehawks because if not, that would have been a touchdown all the way. Without question, she saw nothing but touchdown and green in front of her. Straight green, man. Not a single black jersey in sight. This Firehawk defense is not looking too well. They're definitely getting run down, no pun intended. Seems like the Capitals are totally fine with running the football and just making them work for It'll it. it be a fullback dive right up the middle, number 34. Damn. Tyra Malone. 34, man. She's strong, man. Oh, gets about eight great yards. Dang. So it'll be second and two at the 20-yard line. Wow. Savages. Wow. Savages are perfectly content just running the football at this point, trying to burn off as much clock as, as possible. As much clock. To give the Lady Firehawks essentially fewer and fewer possessions possible. Their percentage is coming down drastically. The window for opportunity is closing. This defense needs to shut it down now. Got to get a turnover somehow. Have to get a turnover. It's Haas. Uh-oh. And Woo! she'll be stopped behind the line of game. Yeah. Lost nice. about two on the play. Yeah, she didn't go anywhere. She did not go anywhere. Ball will get backed up to about the 23-yard line. Man. Just under 12 minutes left to go. Yeah, third down now. Third down, third and, third and four. Ball at the 23-yard line. Again, this is the fourth quarter here of a win or go home. Woman Football Alliance D3 playoff game. And like I said, the Firehawks got himself a really lucky break. That could have been a touchdown earlier, but she stepped out of bounds. Hence the third down situation. That should be. There nope. you go. Uh oh, whoa. Whoa, she gets out of. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, no. Woo! There's a fumble. Oh, there it is. There's a fumble. There it is. There's a fumble. There it is. Can, they, I, pick it can up? they pick it up? Can they get it? And they do. Like I, be, I believe it'll be the Firehawks ball. Whew. At the 40-yard line. Whew. Like I said before, man, the lady. Are they saying she was down by contact? She might have been down. She might have been down by contact. But like I said before, <sighs> just oh, stop the clock. All right. Wow. We were just saying that the Lady Firehawks they Had need to get a defensive stop. needed a turnover Had in the worst way possible. Stop. Right on cue, they get that's what they do. They get the turnover that they need, and like I said, all of that happened because the running back stepped out of bounds just a few plays earlier. We could have been looking at least a 12, if not 13 0 lead for yeah. the Savages, and instead, we got a turnover by the Lady Firehawks. Seems that the officials are having a meeting. Now, this is going to be a long discussion. I hate it when they do this. All right, so we got 10.45. 10.45 on the clock. 10.45 left. All right, that's fair. Firehawks need to get some first downs. Need to. Kenya Wilkinson will drop back the pass. Just snap. Oh, whoa. And it'll be incomplete. They're trying to get the ball downfield quick and fast and in a hurry. Are we stopping the clock or are we keeping the clock running? That's a very good question because normally I thought when there's like an incomplete pass, the clock would stop. But it seems that the refs have been... All right, so it seemed like they just said stop the clock. 
handing to number two from the Firehawks. It seemed to slip down, but that could have been the third interception today by our quarterback, which would have been horrible, to say the least, but we get ourselves another opportunity. Right now, we just need to get down the field. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. no. Oh, God. Yep. No. She picks it up. Yikes. She's still, she's still Yikes. That would be a loss of about 10 on the play. My goodness. I believe we have an injured Capital City. 42 is able to slow to get up. Very slow. Very slow to get up, but she is able to get up. All right, we'll resume, resume play. Okay. And that'll be third and forever. Yeah. Yeah. Third and about 25 yards to go. It's definitely more than 15 yards, man. Timeout call. Timeout. Firehawks. All right. They 9.35 left to go in the game. Wilson focuses on creating high-quality products in different sports such as basketball, football, baseball, soccer, and more. Wilson's sporting goods empowering every human to live like an athlete. Again, we would like to thank everybody tuning in to this Women Alliance, Women Football Alliance V3 playoff winner go home game. Ooh, language. Yikes. We yeah, I'm definitely apologize. Yeah, I'm definitely that. turn that down. We, will de we deeply apologize about that. Yeah, my, yeah, my, my bad on that one, guys. Def heard that all the way up here, man. Yes. Anywho, 9.35 left in the game. Surprisingly enough, still only a one possession game. 6 0. Still 6 0. I'm a little surprised that they're trying to draw deep balls, trying to get down the field. They do have time. Now, granted, I understand third and forever, it's a different situation, but. And it seems as that we have some rain coming down. Rashid, we we so do. That could be a, definitely a factor in the game. Oh yeah. Kenya Wilkinson is in the shotgun. She got to get rid of it. Fast. Too high. Too way too high. Going to be another punt. There will be another punt. So it was fourth and forever. So I don't believe that they're going to elect to go for this. I no. feel like there will be a they, – yeah, they're going to send out the punt. They, they're going to have to send out the punt team, my guy. They're going to have to, man. Like I said, man, the Lady Firehawks defense have been on the field for a very long time. A very long time. I, and I know they say defense wins championships, defense wins games. But when your defense is on the field, 90% of the game, they get tired, they get weary, they get fatigued. Yeah, it's definitely not an, it's definitely not an exaggeration, man. I mean, they definitely been on the field definitely more than 75% of the possessions thus far. About to say, with a 60-minute game, that's really and close. That's a muffed punt. Yeesh. That should be a roughing the kicker. They're not going to throw a flag. They're not going to throw a that flag. That should be a rough in the kicker. Unbelievable. That 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 should have been a rough in the kicker. Unbelievable, man. Some really unfortunate breaks for the Firehawks, man. Not trying to say anything bad about the rest. I'm just saying there's been some questionable calls, man. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I mean, that, 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 that was... That was something different. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to say about that. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, she we, muffs the punt, and, and you can she see she still goes for the punt. And you can see like number eighty-two pleading her case, trying to figure out like, hey, like, like, what's shouldn't that been a penalty? 
We got a we got a potential miss penalty with that. And we also got an inadvertent pass interference against the Lady Firehawks in the third quarter as well. So it's it's interesting to say the least. Nevertheless, based off of how much time we have left, and we soon will be under the nine minute mark. It is very safe to say that the Firehawks at best have two more possessions left if if the defense can stop the Savages. And that's a big if. if. They will get the ball back one more time. We do know that. And the rain is coming, coming down, down heavy. And this is definitely going to be a factor now. Passing may not be an option. Or if it is, it's going to be short. Slants, quick outs. That's what I see. But I believe that they will run this down in the middle. Now, just to let you guys know, this is grass. This is not turf. So you can slip and fall. And that will be a factor, too. And it'll be another handoff. Gain of about four. With that being said, it just started raining again. So the field is still intact right now. And that's 32. But in a few minutes, if it keeps on raining like this, do not be surprised if the field becomes a factor. Ball on 30, 37. Seven minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. 7.36, I'm sorry. Motion. Okay. Much needed. And it'll be stuffed at the line of scrimmage. 82 coming in clutch, baby. Number, that's, number, that's number 82, Kiwana. They call her Big Baby. Big Baby. Oof. Came in clutch. That'll, be, that'll bring up fourth and about three. I don't think this. I don't think the Savages are going to punt. I, I don't believe either. I see their quarterback running back to the huddle. Okay. They yeah. believe that they have they they believe that their offensive line can give them a bit a more an adjusted push than Lady Firehawks' defensive line. Ladies and gentlemen. This right here could alter the game. This is the this is the play of the game right here. What's up? And she she should have enough. Have enough for the first down. The first and ten at the thirty-five yard line. They decided to bring back number thirty-four. They're full back, of course, to lay them alone. To get those what's tough wrong? yards. Not, what's wrong? What happened? I'm not for sure, my guy. Regardless, the clock is still ticking. Ball on the thirty-five. And the way how things are looking right now, the Lady Firehawks will only have one possession. Again, that is, that is, if they if, can stop. if they can get a stop. This drive is going to be the drive of the game for both teams. 549 left. Under center. Can she get there? Firing. Can she get there? Can she, she get the tackle? She can. Right down behind the line. That'll bring up second and 11. All right, timeout call. Timeout called. Like I said, this Oh, it's an injured player on the field. I'm never, sorry, actually. Yeah, I apologize for that. Another injured player. This time for the Lady Firehawks. All right, seems like the injured player was able to get up. Number two. The color Treyway. All right, seems like the ring is. Seems like the ring has stopped. Has or, passed over. Or, or not as much. Maybe a light drizzle. 
Yeah, it looks like a light dresser now. So again, yeah. So the field is wet. It's not unplayable. But there are definitely some soft spots on this field. The grass is a little bit softer now. Oof. She'll fight hard. Oh boy. For about seven yards. Yeah, that was that was a grown that was a grown move right there, man. About, about six yards. I'm sorry, it looks like it's third and four. At the 28, 29 yard line. Now the late Firehawks defense have definitely been on the field. Oh, stop the clock. Well, I'm not stopping. No, I'm not stopping the clock. They, it was a run play. Interesting. You continue to run the clock. They. I don't okay. know. Why, I don't know why they keep on saying that. It's it's weird. You don't stop the clock on a run play. You you don't. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, my guy. You're not wrong. Uh, but like I was saying before, had Lane Firehouse defense. They've been on the field. Shoot, how much time is left? So we're under four thirty. So they've been on the field. And this is really not an exaggeration for more uh, than 40 minutes in total time. Like, that's that's not an exaggeration. Oh. Clock continues to run. Yeah, clock's still running. It looks like the Savages are going to take their time. Oh, yeah, they're going to kill as much time as possible. You can't blame them. Timeout, Savages. We're trying to see if it's fourth down or not. I believe it is. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it is. It's fourth and four. But the, uh, but the chain is just not really pointing towards our direction. Okay, if, and I say if the Savages, if they're going to get possession of the ball, which is most likely going to be their final possession, they will need to get this stop. There's no other way around it. That would give the Sav that would give the Firehawks enough time to make one final drive towards the end zone. Now, again, they do not, they don't have to go for the home run hit, but they do need to get the ball down the field. Yes. This fourth down is crucial to both teams. The play of the game right here, everybody. Should be, uh oh. Can contain the outside. Nope. And she's gone. That's a touchdown, Capital City Savages. That's going to do it, y'all. That could most likely. That's going to do it, y'all. Score 12, 12 Savages. Now, this is very unfamiliar territory for the Firehawks because... They've never been behind in a game. I'm sorry. Their week one loss to the Valkyrie, the East Tennessee Valkyries, they lost that game 8-0. But other than that, they've been a defensive shutout team for the last four weeks of the season. That is true, man. But like I said, the Savages from Lansing, Michigan, man, they came here on a mission. They did not want to drive back. Upset. Nobody wants to drive back to the Midwest upset, man. Two point conversion. And it's good. All right, now it's 14 to 0. Make it 14 to 0. 318 left to go in the fourth 
fourth quarter. Now, I've seen crazier things happen in the fourth quarter. We all I'm have. I'm not going to lie. I could take it back to, uh, uh, I could take it back to last fall. Bring up my man's uh, Tremez Tines. Oh, yeah, man. Against Red Devils. Oh, yeah, the GOAT. Down by eight in the fourth quarter. Put the put the ball in man's hands. Oh, Let's yeah, always, man. Always, man. Let's the, see what happens. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to the GOAT, man. Best player ever to put on a Colonial jersey, man, without question, man. Yes, sir. Without yes, question. Sir. This game is far from over. Like I said, we have seen crazier things happen. Now, with that being said, the best chance that the Firehawks have is this. Me to score before the two-minute mark, before the two-minute warning, and then get the onside kick. Yes. Let that two-minute warning act as an extra timeout. Correct. Three eighteen. It's up. It's they got it. They got exactly one minute and eighteen seconds to score, and that is not. She's trying to. There's a flag on the play. What in the world? That has to be at least maybe the fifth or sixth flag. Definitely seems like there are multiple flags on the field. It, it does. It does. Personal foul face mask against the kicking team. Okay. Three minutes and seven seconds left. Like I said before, crazy things happen. The, the Firehawks will get the ball. Like I said, in order for this scenario that we were just talking about earlier to work, they would need to score within the next one minute and seven seconds to at least get themselves under or at the two-minute warning. Then get the onside kick. Like I said, as Coach just said right now, you heard of we don't need a penalty right now. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. We need a touchdown. Definitely need a touchdown. Now, we were just seen earlier about not going for the home run hit. But at this point, this is more than appropriate to go for the home run hit. Now, you need to get out there. With that being said, you need to give both the quarterback and the wide receiver enough time to get the separation that they need in order to get the ball downhill. All right. Okay. Quick gain of about seven. Okay, so it seems like the Savages will allow the Firehawks to get the runs in. But they gotta move quickly though. 245. Like I said, not a lot of time left. Under 2.30 now. Kenya Wilkerson comes up. She's under center. She's got to get rid of it. Oh, no. It's, if she would have held on to it, she would at least at the bare minimum get past the 35-yard line. That yes. will stop the clock at 2.16. Got to bring up third down. Got to get the first down and got to get downhill. And impossible. You have two. You have, you have two sixteen remaining. Yeah. What can you do with the two sixteen? You got to get the first down. And impossible. Get to one of the sides. Get to one of the sidelines and stop the clock. Like I said, they gotta be quick. They gotta be quick. They gotta be quick. Whatever it is they're gonna do, they gotta be quick with it. Oh, 
it's, it's juggled and it's intercepted by number seven. That's going to do it, y'all. Emily the Aspen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Emily, number seven, linebacker, top of the city. And that's going to do it, y'all. That, 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 would, that would about do it. Yeah. That right it. Put the nail in the coffin. Right in the bread basket, too, man. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that her third interception of the game? No, that was that was that was number one, number one, Jessica Weeks. Oh, sorry, the yeah. new sorry, new quarterback. No, 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 same quarterback. No, I'm talking about like our quarterback. Was that her third or her fourth? Oh, that was her third. That was her third. That was her third. But yes, number seven. That was her first interception of the day for the Savages. And it was something. Crazy and unorthodox happened. This is pretty much all that she wrote. <laughs> Savages got to make sure they don't turn the ball over. And as long as they do that, they will walk away with a victory. And if that's the case, man. Oof. Oof for the Lady Firehawk. Congratulations for the Savages. Definitely not easy to win on the road. It's a timeout. There go. I will say, though, between both teams, it's, it's been pretty peaceful um, in terms of, you know, verbally going back and forth. There really haven't been really a lot of confrontation on moments, so I do appreciate that for yes, both teams. Yes, yes, sir. Good football. Good fo it's, always, it's always great to, to, to have good football. Absolutely. Absolutely. Much respect for both teams. Seriously. Like I said before, unless something crazy and unorthodox happens with the Savages, all they got to do is just keep the ball upright. They should be fine. Now it's third down. Under 130 left in the game. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Firehawks are going to try to stop the clock either. I believe they're just going to let this one play out. I think so too, man. I think so too. Regardless, it's, it's been an amazing season, though, for the Firehawks. Yes. In their very first season in the WFA. With a winning record and hosting their first ever playoff game. Just a tad bit unfortunate, though, but like I said before, the Savages, they came here with a mission. And it seems like they will walk away with the W. Yeah, timeout call. We do appreciate everybody watching both on Facebook and on YouTube on this game. We, we appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. I'm not exactly for sure who the Savages will be playing in the next round, but it will most likely be between 
My apologies. I already forgot the two teams. I, I do apologize for that. There's a punt. Fourth down. She's going to field it. Can she catch an outside? With just 36 seconds left to go. And, and the there's flag. a flag on the field. Receiving team. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, no problem. You know, yeah, you're welcome. We we appreciate um okay, thank you, Michael. The Savages will play the winner of the Missy of the Music City, the Misfits and the Carolina. Phoenix Southwest Championship Game of Progress. Thank you for that, Michael. All right, all right. That's, that was the information that I was looking for. So, like I said, that game is currently in process. And pretty much um, the winner of that game, which will be next week, they will be traveling to Canton, Ohio, to play the Division Three Championship For the WFA. Ball's on a 22 yard line with uh, 36 seconds left to go. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Thank, thank you. Like I said before, thank you everybody for tuning in, being patient with us with the technical difficulties. Like I said, it was raining a little bit earlier, so that kind of got in the way. Uh-oh. And there's a flag, pass interference. I'm about to say. Yeah, but like I said before, we, we do appreciate the patience for the stream. We really do. Like I said, we, we missed a little bit of the game a little bit earlier. It's a little bit of technical difficulties. I apologize for that, but we do thank you for your patience. We really do. Tobias will let it fly. There we go. Yeah, and the Savages, it was like, nah, you're not going anywhere. But but that's what the Lady Firehawk, they was, they was trying to look for in the first three quarters. That completion, that's what we just Hurry up to the line. Nine seconds left to go. Go deep. Ooh, just overshot it. Six seconds left in the game. I mean, and really, that's, that's pretty much just been the story. Like, just... It was just a little bit short or just a little bit too far. That, that's pretty much been the story with the quarterback, wide receiver connection for the Firehawks. But, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much done now. Savages will be moving on. We'll play the winner against either the Midfits or the Phoenix. They're currently playing right now in, in uh, North Carolina. That game is currently underway. They... We'll find out real soon who's going to be the winner of that game is. Six seconds. Throws, and it's picked off. And, and, the end of the game. and that's going to be her fourth interception of the game. Now, let's see if she's going to score. She does not. She does not, and that will end the game. Nope. Interception by number 24 from the Savages. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, final score... Savages 14, Lady Firehawks 0. On behalf of everything, of everyone and everything with the Lady Firehawks, I'm the public address announcer, Deshaun Piercy, and we'd like to thank you all for coming out to tonight's game, and thank you for watching. Please drive safely. 
It's been an honor to share the booth with you, Rasheed. This lovely winner go home. Women Football Alliance D3 matchup. Congratulations to both teams, and we hope the Capital City Savages travel well, travel safe. Yes, please do. Please do, because like I said, that drive back to the Michigan area is not a joke. Really good really good game by both teams. Unfortunately, Firehawks come up a little bit short. Once again, congratulations to the Savages. Well done. You've earned this. And uh, I'll be curious to see who's going to win um, in the Division Three uh, championship game. So it should be fun. All right. We'll see you guys next year, everybody. Take care.